hello everyone welcome to mechanical software education channel in this video you are going to learn about the stress analysis of simply supported beam with uniformly varying load inclined load and moment by using ANSYS look at this drawing a beam is placed over two supports one is pinned and another one is a roller support you can check the cross section for this beam is a circular solid cross section so we are going to give the radius in terms of meter so the value of uh, this radius is given as 0 0.5 meter so all the dimensions are in meter here so here in this beam you can check uh, three different loads are acting one is UVL and inclined load and another one is moment you can check here so in this UVL the starting load is 3 kN per meter and the highest load is 8 kN per meter. So here the deviation between these two loads starting from 3 to 8 which is equal to 5. So 5 kN per meter it is the uh, deviation between the lowest to the highest load. And one moment is acting exactly at uh, uh, 6 meter. Uh, the value is 5 kN meter here and one inclined load is acting here of 60 degree with the 10 kN okay so three different loads are acting here and now with the help of these parameters you can easily draw the simply supported beam with the sorry uh, circular solid uh, cross section and we can uh, find the shear force drawing and bending moment drawing with the help of these parameters so extra parameter what we are going to give as input is E value that is Young's modulus value that is 2E9 Newton per meter square and Poisson's ratio that is mu which is equal to 0 0.27 okay let me move on to answers you can start with the preferences go to preferences select structural and go to preprocessor go to element type add your element as beam element and 2 node 188 give ok and close and now go to material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic here I'm going to give as 2e9 it is in um, meters so the Poisson's ratio value is 0 0.27 give ok and close here now go to your yeah, sections and uh, this is a beam so select this common section of beam it is a circular solid cross section so give circular value here the radius is 0 0.5 as our uh, radius you can check 0 0.5 meter as our radius okay now uh, go to this n value so you can go to preview and check this radius of your circular solid beam and now we just give this n value so n is nothing but the number of elements in angular direction so we can give the value from 0 degree to 360 degree I can give 10 here and go to this mesh view and check this division so this is the uh, division in angular direction so T stands for the number of divisions in a radial direction so I can give this radial direction as 20 or I can give 10 here uh, give mesh view so this is the variation between this uh, radial direction and also the angular direction so give ok and now give modeling uh, go to this key points and inactive coordinate system start with the uh, first uh, key point as origin and the second key point it should be uh, the distance is 6 meters so give 6 give apply and the third key point it should be 6 plus 3 that is 9 that is inclined load acting in this uh, distance apply and the fourth key point is 12 that is the entire length of the beam is 12 so now with the help of lines you can join from first to second key point second to third and third to fourth and give ok and now you can mesh with the help of size controls manual size go to lines all the lines I just give the division is 100 we can give the division is 100 give ok and the entire line was divided into 100 equal divisions and now go to mesh 
and go to line pick all the lines the entire line was missed and uh, now go to plot and lines we can uh, easily uh, differentiate the first line second line and third line with the help of the colors and now go to numbers and on your key point numbers okay so now we just go for uh, boundary condition before that boundary condition we are uh, going to rotate one node here so because it is an inclined load that's why we just want to rotate this particular node uh, into some angle so we already know that it is a uh, 90th degree and if you are going to give the value in the ANSYS it just give the included angle so 90 minus 60 degree it should be 30 degree so the included angle is uh, 30 degree so uh, in ANSYS uh, the uh, sign what we are going to give is negative here okay so minus 30 degree so we are going to rotate the node as minus 30 degree okay so very very simple and uh, one more load is acting here that is uh, a moment so the moment is in a clockwise direction so here also you are going to give a negative sign for uh, clockwise direction so with the help of these data we can rotate the node here so again go to preprocessor go to modeling create uh, key point sorry uh, go to nodes here and here in this uh, rotate node coordinate system uh, select this by angles by angles and just go to closer and you can uh, click here click ok and that's a 1 or 2 uh, the node number is 1 or 2 and here in this z value you just give minus 30 degree ok give ok and now you already rotated your uh, node now you are going to give the boundary conditions go to define loads apply structural displacements on key points so select this first uh, key point and it is a pinned joint so you just uh, eliminate this rotation z all the others should get arrested because the beam should get rotated in the z direction so give ok here and now again go to key points select the last key point it is a roller support so you just arrest y direction alone so because the beam should be moved in uh, x direction okay now go to force our moment select on nodes we just select this particular node here so that's a uh, uh, one or two node the number is one or two and give the y value as minus 10,000 minus 10,000 that is 10 kilonewton so give 10,000 and the moment value is of 5 kilonewton per meter so here just give minus 10,000 so that's the value so go to uh, ok here now you can check the uh, inclined load which is, which is acting along uh, 60 degree angle but we gave this included angle as uh, minus 30 degree ok now go to key points here now select this particular uh, second key point and you are going to give the moment in z direction so the value is uh, 5 kilo newton per meter you can check 5 kilo newton meter so it is in a clockwise direction so give minus value minus 5000 okay give ok so now you can check your moment so this is the moment you already gave ok now you can go for fixing your uniformly varying load ok for this we are going to give some uh, codes for getting uh, this UVL so here we have this code so I already told that uh, the starting uh, load is uh, 3000 and the ending load is uh, 8000 so the deviation between the uh, two loads is 5000 ok so with the help of that data we can easily uh, write this code so here you can see this is the variable k uh, or it is a key point so k comma 1 comma 10 this is the division uh, we already divide the entire uh, lines into 100 equal divisions so we can give 1 to 100 1 to 100 
if you divide the entire line into 10 equal divisions means you can give 10 alone so here I divided the line into 100 equal divisions so give 1 comma 100 comma 1 1 stands for x direction so next one is a SF beam that is a shear force beam and k is the variable and 2 stands for the load acting in y direction and pressure and now this is 3000 so 3000 is the starting uh, load and uh, it should be incremental so give plus value and my k minus 1 into this 5000 is nothing but the deviation between the highest and the lowest load divided by the variation so 1 to 100 is the variation here so give 100 and uh, give comma it is the x incremental value this is the x incremental value so you need to find the y incremental value here and give 3000 plus k into this is the deviation divided by you need to give 100 here because the deviation is 1 to 100 this is the deviation so 100 is the difference between the first node and the second sorry first element to the second uh, hundredth element so that's the variation and uh, that's all your uh, end of the program and do stands for it is a cyclic and uh, this is go to the another step so this is should be of x incremental and y incremental term so you just uh, copy this codes and you can give this code in the command prompt and give enter so that's the exact uh, uh, UVL actually it should be look like a UDL you just go to plot and uh, go to multi plots you can check your UDL value so here you can see here this value that's a mac minimum value is 3000 and the maximum value is 8000 so the division between this 8000 to the 3000 uh, lowest value is 5000 okay so with the help of these data we can easily uh, give this UVL loads now we can check three types of loads acting here UVL and here you have a moment and this is the inclined load okay now after completing this boundary conditions we can uh, now solve this problem go to current tell us and go to ok here that's all your yes, solving process was get over and here just uh, see your results before that you just go for deform shape first check your deform shape and now just go for counter plot and just check with this uh, degrees of freedom first this is the value that is 0 0.010861 this is a, a displacement value uh, it should be in a meter now check your cross section go to size and shape and on your display of filament and this is your circular solid cross section ok now I go to your stress value of one measure stress now check your stress analysis here so the stress is maximum in this region so if you want to animate uh, with this stress you can animate with the plot controls go to anim uh, animate with the deformed uh, results you can go to the stress you can check your values with this animation okay now the maximum uh, stresses is acting in this particular region okay so bef uh, because it is uh, uh, UVL is also acting in this particular region and also a uh, moment is also acting that's why uh, the particular uh, on that particular region the stress is maximum so before uh, going for a shear force diagram and bending moment diagram we can go to a sequence numbering and start with the number 3 and number 6 this is the miscellaneous number we are going to give to get the shear force drawing and the bending moment drawing it's 19 so sequence for 3 to 16 is for a bending moment and 6 is to 19 is for shear force I go to plot results and uh, counter plot I go to line element result and you can give the combination as 3 cross 16 you can get the exact uh, uh, bending moment drawing okay so now you can check with the uh, shear force drawing that is 6 cross 19 so this is the exact drawing here so now 
uh, if you want to take uh, printouts for this this drawings then you can uh, check with the style colors we can uh, reverse your video tan uh, from black to white and you can capture your image and you can save your image in bitmap file okay so thank you very much guys thank you so subscribe my channel and uh, support me if you gained uh, more knowledge through this video press like and comment thank you thank you very much